Here you'll find the remnants of a tea tray I made back in 2009, or possibly 2008. It was originally a gift for my mother, and she handed it back to me less than two years ago, claiming that she'd broken it. In actual fact, what actually happened was that the miter joints had failed because it was simply an end grain to end grain joint with no further reinforcement. So my intention here is simply to repair the tray, reassemble it, reinforce the corners and return it to my mother. Simply dry fitting the pieces back together wasn't easy working on a narrow surface of my workmate. Before I could go too far with this I had to clean off about 18 months worth of dust and grime. Where these mitre joints had failed previously, I decided it would be best to scrape away some of the old glue before applying a new adhesive. I'd also like to mention this was not my design, it was a project I followed directly from a book, and it was also my first time cutting mitre joints. Getting ready for a dry assembly, I laid out the boards where I wanted them and marked the end grain for the correct orientation later on. I also chose to label the mitered corners. Whenever I'm making boxes or frames like this, I like to use a ratchet strap to pull the corners together. But on this occasion I found my workmate was far too small and I ended up taking the assembly down to the floor. I don't normally apply glue to both surfaces but because this was an old project with old glue on the joints and essentially it was still going to be an end grain to end grain joint initially I thought it might be a good idea to be a bit cautious. With the clamp secure and the assembly complete, I left the glue to dry overnight.
this is where I began to add some reinforcement to the joints. And before I could do any marking out, I had to cover the surfaces in masking tape. I'm going to be reinforcing these joints using splines and I'll cut the kerf using a handsaw. I bought this bag of veneer offcuts at a woodworking show in Somerset maybe seven or eight years ago. At long last, I'm able to make use of at least one of the many offcuts inside. These are simply glued in place and again left overnight to cure. With a sharp knife I could score the edges of these splines and prevent them from fracturing. As I didn't have any of the original hard wax oil to hand, I finished the repair with an application of a wax polish. Thank you for watching, I do hope you found this useful. Please like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon with some very exciting news.